Sitting Bull was born along the Grand River in what is now South Dakota. As a Lakota youth, he was known as slow for his patient and deliberate nature. But he would grow to become a fierce warrior, earning the name Sitting Bull for his courage in battle. As a young man, Sitting Bull joined raiding parties against the Lakota's enemies, the Crow. His ferocity in combat was said to strike fear into the hearts of all who opposed him, but it was the encroachment of white settlers that came to dominate Sitting Bull's concerns. He refused to be confined to a reservation and led his people in resisting the takeover of their sacred lands. In 1866, Sitting Bull rallied Lakota warriors in a siege of Fort Rice, a fort that had been built on tribal territory. They surrounded the wooden walls with a sea of painted faces and defiant cries that echoed into the night. The Lakota held their ground until the soldiers finally fled in retreat. But Sitting Bull's greatest victory came a decade later in 1876 when he joined forces with Crazy Horse to wipe out Custer and his 7th Cavalry Regiment at the Battle of Little Bighorn. Under his leadership, the outnumbered Lakota and Cheyenne forces charged ferociously, raining arrows down on the Bluecoats and driving them back. Sitting Bull inspired his people to a triumph that would become legendary. The victory was short-lived, however, as ever more U.S. troops arrived to force the tribes onto reservations. For the sake of his people, Sitting Bull eventually surrendered, though he eventually embraced the Ghost Dance Movement's vision of banishing the white men. In 1890, Indian police were sent to arrest Sitting Bull and stop this threat. They killed him, thinking it would silence his defiance. But his voice carries on an undying call for Lakota dignity and resistance. As Sitting Bull once lamented, when I was a boy, the Sioux owned the world, the sun rose and set on their land. They sent 10,000 men to battle. Where are the warriors today? Who slew them? Yet he always maintained that each man is good in the sight of the great spirit. His life stands as a testament to the courage and wisdom of his people.